surgical forceps, mosquito-like clamp, scalpel, scissors, needle holder, two trident hooks, and rubber drain tube for puncture and bite wounds, suture material, antiseptic solution, ablen solution, gauze wipes and pads, and adhesive plaster. Skin around the wound are painted with the ablen solution making movements from the peripheral to the wound to the inside. To make a checkup of the wound, we use two trident hooks for opening the edges of the wound. To arrest residual bleeding with vessel fixation, we use mosquito-like clamp and apply a bandage. A suture is put across around the vessel to bind it up and cut close to the knot. To continue a checkup, we use the two trident hooks and remove the blood clots, foreign material, free small fragments of the soft tissue. Wound closure are performing lawyer by lawyer, starting from the depths, by means of the needle holder, squeezing the needle with suture and make a prick in and out at the same distance from the edge and depths of the wound perpendicularly to the wound line. Deep lawyers, muscles, fascia, cutaneous, cellular tissue are closed with the dissolving materials, for example, vicryl. The suture is cut down to the base of the knot. To apply stitches on the skin, we use polyamide suture. A needle holder presses a needle with suture. Make a prick in and out at the equal distance from the wound edges and the same depth perpendicularly to the wound line. The knots are located from the one side from the stitch line. Suture are cut down leaving 0.5 cm from the knot.
Drainage of the bite wounds performed with a rubber drain tube, which is located into the wound by mosquito-like clamps. An outer tip is held with the forceps. Antiseptic dressing is applying and fixing with the adhesive plaster.